Hello, welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Darby. And I'm Alexis P. Bebbles. The P stands for pom-poms. Have you seen this new trend on TikTok where people are- Putting pom-poms in their ass? No, they're reupholstering oh. chairs with those craft pom-pom fuzzies. Yes, that is a cat nightmare. Your animal. It's also just like a visual nightmare. I'm so disgusted yeah. by it. I don't like it. Sometimes I think we can get too creative and that needs to stop. That needs maybe, to stop. Maybe some of you need to go back to school for business and like uh, let your dreams go because pom-pom chairs, you're bad at art. Also, they can't be comfortable. They will mm -hmm. get stuck in your ass every time you stand up. It'll and be I, like... If you have a cat, it's over. Okay, unless, unless you get a, ca a chair just for the cat. Oh, wouldn't that be cute? Like a tiny little cat-sized chair oh, and then yeah. cover it with pom That but, might be cute. But I would want to buy one of the chairs that there's a video, like a time-lapse video of someone on TikTok spending hours making the chair. I'd want to buy that specific chair and, and then, then, put then it take in a, a video. Cat cafe. And then take a video of cats tearing it apart and going, see, this is why it's a bad idea. How's Portland? <laughs> I just assume they all live in Portland. Yeah, no, no, they do. No, 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 no. <laughs> now, we just want to, uh, let's get ahead of this, Alexis. We want to go ahead and apologize because mm. we just ate well, half chicken wanna, and dumplings. Half of us want to apologize. Chick well, I'm, gonna, I'm apologizing for you because you're the one, you're, you are going to fard. We just had chicken and dumplings. Oh, I thought you were going to apologize for Lucy. Laduca. No, it was the first episode. We're learning names. She's fine. We just had chicken and, and dumplings. Curtis made <sighs> chicken and dumplings. Okay, listen to this. This is so cute and also, it, it's cute. It's ultimately it's cute. His mom in Philadelphia, his sister in Baltimore, and then Curtis here in Los Angeles. Okay, California. you're gonna have to bleep that out though because people, sh they shouldn't know where they live. I'll be honest with you. They don't really have anything. Chicken anything good that his mom had, I took. Chicken and dockslings. So anyway, for Christmas, Curtis got them all the same cookbook of one of his favorite um, cook people, internet cooks. Chefs? They cook. They cook internet chefs. The sure. bear. They get on Facetime and they made. They all made it together, but they're waspy, so they don't mind a long silence. That would, I don't know what that's about. It's a wasp thing. I think they're just like wrestling with their emotions on the inside. He'd be like, so I'm not gonna use butter because I hate my husband. I mean, he didn't say that, but I assume that's what he thought when he decided not to use butter. Then like 20 seconds of silence, which 20 seconds is a long time. 20 seconds of silence. And then it's Cause it's, it's just, like one, two. two. Yeah. Three. You're gonna count to 20, yeah. Four, and then his sister after five, 20 seconds goes, six, yeah, I don't think seven, I'm gonna add butter either. And that was like normal. No. I was alarmed. I heard the, I don't think I'm gonna use butter either. And I was like, who was talking about butter? Okay. It's alarming. Yeah. Listen, waspy people Seven, usually aren't great. Eight, eight, his family's great. They're very nine, supportive. Eight, I just don't know how to accept 20. the support because my family's not what? That was 20. Oh, see? It's a long time. My dad is from East Texas. I know. And they talk real slow there. Yeah. And they put a lot of space in between their words. Can I be honest with you? Can I say something controversial? I don't, you're not usually very honest. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad. <laughs> oh no! No, 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 listen. Let okay. Let me get my drink. Your dad, yes, he talks very slow. Mm -hmm. He's a very slow moving guy, which is why it surprises me when you're like, he climbs Mount Everest. I'm like, for how long? Anyway, when he almost killed that woman with his Tesla and we ate Taco Bell with him, uh, he is the he slowest is. taco eater I think I've ever seen. It was oh. it was as if he didn't want to crack it. Hard shell tacos, meat and cheese only, right? Wasn't that your dad's order? I don't know. Yeah, it sounds like a dad order. He was like, And that's 20 seconds. Maybe that's what Curtis's mom and sister were doing on that call. They were eating tacos. Eating tacos really silly. <laughs> <laughs> I have to tell you, okay, I actually had to go home recently. Everything's fine, but I had to go home really quickly for something. And my dad was driving us back and forth in the Tesla. I don't think your dad's a good driver. I, I don't think it's my dad. I think it's the Tesla. Because there were so many times where like, there would be a sudden stop on the highway. Mm -mm. And I'll be like, what, Dad, what is going on? Mm -hmm. He'd be like, oh, sorry. It thought that thing was a car. And I'm like, can you just drive it? Like, could you just do be in charge of it? I think he, we need to get rid of that Tesla. Tesla. I think it's gonna get rid of itself if you ask me. Well, <laughs> oh God. My mom. So you know how like cars come with auto drive or not auto drive, but auto stay in your lane. So if you start to move out of your oh, lane, it'll beep. It'll 
and it'll push your car back. She was talking, she just got a, a new car this year and she was talking about how it goes off all the time. And I was like, well, mom, you're leaving your lane. And it's a huge SUV because, you know, she's going to die before climate change really affects her. I'm like, well, you're leaving your lane a lot. Aren't you glad you have it on? And she's like, no, it jerks the car back. If I knew how to turn it off, I would, but I cannot figure it out. And then I drove her car while I was there after someone died and I turned it off. I was like, oh, I know how to turn it off. And then when I got home and mom's like, oh, I'm not hearing the beeping. I was like, oops. And I turned it back on without her knowing. Cause I don't want her to die on my watch. No, 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 no. So let's get into this episode. Now let's talk about yes. the general online talk about the episode. Oh, tell now me. this was our first hour long only episode. Cause like the first two, they were oh, put together, whatever. Yeah. So we had the Real Friends of WeHo premiere. So we really had to cut down Drag Race to so just that no, hour. No, that premiere is this coming Friday. Oh, well then why was it only an hour? Oh, just in general. Just they in were general. Right. Oh, okay. I don't know. It premieres while we're at Pat Slut, but we will be watching it. Like If it's on during my number, I will stop my number to just turn it on and watch it. Yeah, yeah, minutes. me too. So it was an hour long, which with 40 commercials, minutes. it was 40 minutes. And everyone was online is complaining like MTV, you cut down this award-winning show so that we could watch a show that no one cares about and no one got their screen time and blah, blah, blah. How did you feel? How did you feel about this shorter episode? I was fine. Same. <laughs> I Here's didn't mind. As soon, okay, I I started it. I ordered food, and by the time food got there, the episode was like 15, there was only 15 minutes left. Yeah. I was like, oh. I agree with everyone who was like, they have these beautiful costumes, and then they each got three seconds on the yeah, runway. I did think that was a rush. That yeah. was, that wasn't fun to watch, but, no. but they. I always fast forward through the judges' comments once they make them leave. I never watch that part. I hate that part because we just heard them talk. So the fact that they didn't include that, the fact that there wasn't a mini challenge, I was good with it. There was, was a good. mini challenge. Oh, and they just cut it out. No, the mini challenge was Robin and Amethyst had to oh, right. talk about their Connecticut connection and why they're no longer connected. And Which was very awkward for Amethyst, I gotta say, because Robin was quick to come out and be like, I'm good. Well, I guess in Untucked last week and like on the internet, it was very much Amethyst like ghosted Robin. And so Robin was spinning it to say, Oh, she's girl. a bad texter and I'm too busy, which is exactly what I would have done. So I am team Robin in that mini challenge. I'm team Robin all the time. I have to say both of them out of drag. I would. They're both very cute. Oh yeah, everyone's very attractive on this season. Not true, but these two are. And <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Who do you leave, think is not attractive? Leave in the comments who you think is unattractive. No, 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 no I'm, kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, don't they're all that. beautiful and they're all bodies beautiful, everybody's beautiful, every face. Oh my god, so gorgeous. But they got me thinking. Who are two cast members that you would like to see date? Who would you like to see fall in love this season? Um, Anitra and Aura. I know. Oh, I agree. yes, yes, I yes. agree. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's just something that we all needed to say. Yeah. Okay, I have another one. Mistress and Jax. I want to see Mistress break Jax in half. Just tiny little Jax. That would be hot. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hot. That would be hot. Oh, okay, also, did I you want, see I what Jax is wearing is um, has hot. It. Well, yeah, yeah, but she's updated her makeup so that now she has actual lips. She doesn't draw her small lips anymore. Oh, I don't know that. I, I loved that. that she was a thin lipped queen. Speaking of past Regrets. connections, regression. Did you see? I can't tell if this was a joke or not. Bianca Del Rio is live. She said she had sex with Latrice Royale. That was a joke. That's a joke. Okay. Yeah, because she said they both wore not today Satan hats. Is that something you've done while having sex? Well, hey, let's put on our hats and fuck. You Come always on. have to protect yourself with a hat. Yes. Oh, that's true. Usually I do a hard hat or a beret because, you know, I happen to France, Paris specifically. And it makes her come. Even if it were an hour and a half, the amount of queens on this show at this point. You would still not be No them. one's gonna get their yeah. time, No, you know. So I think once we start getting the cast lower, I don't think the hour long thing is gonna bother people anymore. Yeah, and I saw someone, I can't remember who, someone tweeted 2022, too much drag race, it's too much. 2023, not enough drag race. Yeah, listen, we'll always, grass is always greener. No one's gonna be, ha no one's ever gonna be happy. Have you ever mowed grass? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Yes, I have mowed grass. Sucks. And I'll tell you what happens. Have you ever smoked it? Have you ever? I'll tell you what happens mm -hmm. with me. I call it the lawnmower effect. My dad would say, you have to mow the grass. And I'd say, but I'm no. allergic. And I'm... Your dad would say, you have 
to mo your dad talks really slow. Yeah, and I would say, but dad, I'm allergic and it's hard, and it's hot. And he would say, go, go out there. And so I would go out there and I would like, because it was like, back in our day, you had to prime it by pushing this little clit uh -huh. on the back. And then you, <laughs> it's a little clit. It's a little, it's a little clit. clit. And then you have to pull, yank that chain never once started for me. Never once. And then I'd go in and I'd ask dad to come out and get it. I'd be almost crying. I wasn't strong enough. I'm very weak. Delicate. I know. He would literally just look at it and it would start. And it's called the lawnmower effect. So now anytime someone can't... Anyway, and then... You think? Punch the clit. I want to go back to my childhood home when I did have to mow because in my mind, the backyard was, was two, football, yeah. two football... Two football... Yeah. It wasn't. Same. But I was so angry. I was so pissed because I really was allergic to I don't know what. I would get hives everywhere. And back then we didn't have iPods. We didn't have iPhones. No, you know what we had? I had a disc, disc man, man that would with skip. skip. We have skip protection, but it only worked for 30 seconds at a time. So you would listen to 30 seconds of a song. Britney Spears. And then you'd have to stop mowing. And you'd have to stand. Oh, girl. And then once it started, you had 30 more seconds. And then you'd have to stop. for me to step into this. But worth it. Yeah, it was fun. Mine was red. I think my freshman college roommate stole it. Mine was see-through teal. And they smoked grass. I'm pretty sure they're a they, but back then he was a he. Look at you keeping up to date on people's pronouns. Well, no, I'm pretty sure he's in prison, but... They're in prison. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so, so prison. they are picking teams, Tra right? Religious picking, trauma. Not yet. They are picking teams for this challenge, and Princess Poppy is one of the people who is still waiting to be picked, and it's getting down to it, and it's like, who's gonna be last? And then someone picks Princess Poppy. So she goes, later losers, as she got picked, and then RuPaul said, now hang on, don't oh. say that, that might come back to haunt you. Bitch, I didn't did. even think about yeah. that. Yeah. Do you think that's why? Did. Because, because honestly, she made that comment. Well, honestly, no. I, I don't. Oh, we'll get to it. We'll, we'll get, get to it. it. So anyway, they have to do infomercials for the great queer after, which is kind of a weird. Listen, none of us are going to heaven. It would have made more sense if they had brought up hell. Well, one team did ultimately go that way. As they're doing makeup, as they do makeup. They're not skimping time on the on the trauma talk. Oh, can I be honest with you? Before yeah. we get to makeup, when Michelle is directing them in their heaven or whatever, Sasha was struggling. It was really funny though, because Selena goes, where am I? And Sasha goes, what's my line? And Selena goes, you're dead. <laughs> but then when she finally gets the line, Michelle's note, directorial note was, I know you can do better. Do it better. <laughs> That's not a note. That's not a note. Also, you and don't. Then later do on, you really? Do you know that she can do better? And then later... Thank you. She can. And then later on, when they're on the runway, and she's like, you were a joy to direct. And I was like, from whomst? You didn't direct shit. You know, I mean, you did. Obviously, we I love Michelle. We're not. I did direct a one act play that I adapted from a Twilight Zone episode when I was a senior in high school. What in episode? The, the trade ins. Do you remember where the old people traded in their body for younger people so they could farm and whatever? The original Twilight or the reboot original, in the 90s? Original. Oh, really? Yeah. It was one of the I old ones that. because it had one of the smallest casts. And I had. So, so it was four seniors got to do this. And they got freshmen, sophomores, juniors. Because they're the and oldest I got people at sophomore. The school. I got sophomores and it was a couple competition and I won a lot of awards but only because I, I picked an episode with a very small cast and I did like what awards we did like a one act play competition but Twilight Zone episodes so you won an award in your class it you was school wide you didn't win like a regional award no okay but it was only for our school Okay. I just put like a bunch of classical music behind it and I got, I, but I was kind of like the star because I got the one kid. I got the I one. I was kind of like the star. I was kind of like the star because I got like kids that were really hungry to be actors. And then I got That's the how, one kid. You gotta kid. get them when they're hungry. He That's how I got Curtis. He was kind of like a bad kid. He wasn't in theater or anything, but he just like wanted to try it and he was kind of like cool. <gasps> like bring it on. And I got him to play the younger guy and he would miss a bunch of rehearsals and like his grit. It was, it was totally high school because his grades like I'd be like hey if you don't get your grades up you can't be in this mm -hmm. but he did and he was great and um 
And now that boy is Sean Penn. <laughs> yeah, so while they're putting on their makeup, we get into religious trauma talk, which you know for me is an aphrodisiac. I was so excited. Yeah. Now I hate to see people crying. Seeing Malaysia break down was awful. Sad. And Mistress as well. It was so, so sad. Love seeing everyone come around to them and love them. I Listen, thought about... religion to me, for me, par me, I don't care what your religion is. I should never know what your religion is unless you're like, my religion sucks, then I want to hear about it. But like, religion is so damaging. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. See? Fuck him. Well, no. Even, even no, he too knew. Far, too far. He throwing the tables around or whatever. He threw that table, bitch. He threw that fucking table. He, he threw Teresa the table. Judice. He multiplied the fish for yeah. what reason? And he served. I guess to feed people. Listen, the church is, I mean, it's a click. It's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a cop popularity contest. It's a click. So I hooked up in the, in the little room that led up to the baptismal, like during church. Jesus. Oh, he was there probably. Like, <laughs> Let's move on to the runway. Let's so the, to runway the runway theme is uh, metallic. It's metallic. First out is Miss RuPaul, and I gotta say, she looks so yeah, beautiful. I loved this dress. And her I mean, it's very makeup. similar to what we see from her, but the length of it, like the torso seemed longer. I liked it a lot. It was the makeup that I loved yeah. a lot. Wait, hold on. She's a beauty. First up is Anitra, winner from last time, silver. Can I ask your general opinion? What do you think of the runway theme being metal? Once I saw like bodysuit after bodysuit after bodysuit, yeah. I was like, okay, maybe, but, that's, but what can you do with metal? Exactly. It's gonna be bodysuit or pantsuit. Or, pant or lame. So, that's exactly what I was thinking. So I was I, like, this is kind of Whatever, but I thought everyone looked good. There's only well, like one everyone. or two that I was like, uh. But Anitra looks great. I like Anitra, I like this. Yeah. I feel like she would wear that in Vegas to a show. Like, I think it's... Yeah. We just see a lot of... Because it is cool. Like, I'm literally in a shiny bodysuit. I'm doing clocks. It is Because cool. a lot of clocks are made with various metals. Who have metal in it, yeah. You have to watch Dark. I have, for the last time. I have. But you didn't finish it. But I forgot that I had. No, I had, fi I had finished it. I finished oh, it. Oh, well, don't get on me like I forgot that you started it when you forgot it existed. Well, stop forgetting st and start... I, most of the time, I think you don't remember anything. I just want that to be clear. But that's how I protect my trauma. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha Colby looking like a sexy silver porcupine. I loved this look. Yeah, This cool. was so fun. And look at her body. Yeah, the body is here. The mother has arrived. She, she, she was the moment that I realized I didn't get enough time on the runway with these looks. Selena as titties. I like that she went a different direction than everyone else. I like that she said metal. I can do something with that. Yeah, because it because it's confusing. Metallic. I don't know. I think it's I thought a, it was cool. Well, I I don't. I think it's an absolute mess. And I I think most people would agree. It it's it's terrible. But I love the idea. I love she that she had different. actual roads and then she had her own road as titties. And I'm like, where's that boulevard? I must walk it. Lux Noir London, gorgeous, gold, gorgeous. C three PO at the Met Gala. I closed up on her when they were talking to her. I was like, yeah. Jesus Christ. Marsha, 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 and her little salute to the Tin Man. No, I did enjoy Rue and Michelle both threw shade at her this episode that made yeah. me laugh out loud. <laughs> I forget what the situation was, but Rue had said, like, Rue said, she heard our note about the makeup, but only did it on her nose. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think Michelle said that, but Rue, like earlier when she was in the workroom with them, someone said oh, something and, and she was like, like, maybe she can loan you a pair of. Yeah, maybe she can. Let Lone you borrow some, some lashes. That was very funny. That's so funny. I did see her draw her graphic liner up a little higher, and then she made her nose silver. Yeah. I love the idea that she went to Tin Man. Again, Cute. like Selena, I love the idea of going a little outside the box and gay. Yeah. We've all watched Wizard of Oz and thought, cool. Amethyst is solid gold dancer, number four. I think she looks pretty. She I looks like Christina this. Aguilera. Now, what did you think of Michelle and Rue's note about her nose? Um, I'm going to say, as a nose girl myself, I'm going to say shut the fuck up. Yeah. Not to Rue, I would never say that. And not to Michelle in person, I would never say that. But behind her back, Rue was nice and was like, I'm a nose queen and I fucking love your nose. Yeah. I love that. But Michelle being like, it's too dark. You're, it's like you're hiding it. That's that's her body. She can hide what she wants. Shut the fuck up. I mean, I don't nose contour. Obviously, this is my real nose. I'm just very fortunate that I was born with a very small exclamation point for a nose. Yeah. I didn't uh, like it. I don't know. I'm having trouble connecting to Connecticut Amethyst. 
Oh, I love her. I absolutely love her. <laughs> and well, because maybe I identify with her. I don't know. But she said when Michelle gave her that note and she was like, can I respectfully disagree? I was like, yes, Amethyst. Here's the thing. Amethyst is so young. Okay. Do I think she's going to last much That's longer why this I don't competition? Connect, no. Because I'm jealous and I'm annoyed. But her resiliency, okay. And her somewhat self-awareness in her certain ten, situations. Her tenacity. I... Metals. I... I like her. Well, I do like this gown dress thing. LeMay. I think it, LeMay. Yeah. yeah, I think it's pretty. I and think it's like Christina beautiful. Aguilera, mm -hmm. Lady Marmalade, Lady Gold a lot. Princess Poppy. Now, this is where I took note of like, oh, I'm seeing a lot of bodysuits. Oh. Yeah, and I was a little scared because before she said C-3PO, I was like, is this America? Is this like, what is this? Is this America? Flavored. Oh, I thought you meant she had a gun. It's just the fact that hers was a bodysuit and only a bodysuit. There was yeah. no cuffs. There was no matching or thing in her hair. Or if you are going to be... No, I like Princess Poppy. If oh, you are going to be C-3PO, be C-3PO. Yeah. Fart and shit all the way down the runway. And nobody, I've never seen Star Wars. So are you was, wearing this hair in honor but you of you? Know what, you know what I thought about Princess. when she walked out, though? Working drag queens, we've all been in that situation where we work on a look ourselves or work on modifying something, and we spend so much time on it, and it feels like, I'm going to look incredible. I've done so much. And then you get out there, and it's just a bodysuit. Like, uh, when I wore this, I A.B. stoned this, and it took me forever to do, and I was like, I'm so creative. I reinvented drag. No, I didn't. I had stones to it, and it took a long time. So to me, it seemed like... A big deal. I do you know how but it much like time I spent winding these clocks up? And you can't, they're not all the same tool. You have to get different, like those hook things you get with bikes, and you have to go all of it. Hours. At least I think. I don't know. The clocks weren't working yet. She looks good, but it, yeah. it could have been more. And I think she, you could tell. It could have been a little that. more spicy. Hey, speaking of spice, coming up next is uh, one of our duo. No, nope, oh. it's spice. So she's metallic. She's yeah. punk and she's got the little robot dog. That's, That's cute. I loved that little I robot love, dog. I want one of those. I love her little, I love the two of them because of their like, was now, it called? Fort twin. Now. No, like the, the, to the past, that feeling you nostalgia. get. To the, nostalgia. Yeah. So they, no, they, they were featured that. heavily in this episode because they were split on teams and blah, blah, blah. I want to say this about the twins. As a twin. There is an alarming self-awareness for their age and their persona that I respect. I'm so sorry. I think sorry. it's so you impressive. You continue talking. Oh, I'm okay. so sorry. What are you doing? The wig cap under my wig is giving me the worst headache ever. Oh, take it off. Okay. So I think Sugar and Spice, yes, they are a little corny, which is a little annoying. But like when, when Jax stopped Sugar from giving all of her opinions all at once and moved her to the end of the table, which was hilarious, by the way. Oh, yeah. Sugar had the self-awareness to like shut up. And then when she did start talking, she's like, you probably don't want to hear this, Jax. And Jax is like, no. I love a self-aware queen. You can get away with a lot if I know that you know that you're annoying. And at their age, I just, I think they're charming. I think that I they think they're are, charming. I think they're working their magic on us. I think they're charming <laughs> and as fuck. We're, yeah, I liked it too. I didn't think the Jax moment was a big deal. I think what happened was it started off as kind of like a joke, like you move over here. And then I think Jax just got, their whole group just got kind of mean. stressed about it. Yeah, and they went to a place, it wasn't funny. Ara Mayari, ooh, she was like green. Somebody did a side by side of all the people who have worn looks that look just like that. Well, it's a very popular thing. I think. No, it absolutely is. Yeah. And this was filmed a year and a half ago. So this was also like. Yeah. Lucy LaDuca. I thought this was really pretty. I loved it. Yeah. And I loved the note that that. What was that girl? Marin Morris. Okay. Who's that? I think she is a mix of Selena Gomez's face and that what country she do? singer's hair. She's a singer. She's a singer. For what? Herself. Pop? And like country i think or i don't huh. know the last culturista guys love her isn't there a marin on broadway what's her name marin mayfield mazzy mazzy but she died right she's dead i went to marty gold cummings Stop. has a show i don't know if they still have the show but they had a show before the pandemic where she'd have one broadway star and one drag queen and they, they would, would perform have to fight to the they death. would fight to the death broadway Is that really how marin mazzy life. died <laughs> <laughs> if you ever have an opportunity to see Marty Gold Cummings host anything, you have to go. She's just dynamic as fuck. Anyway, Mary Mazzy's widower was the guest because he's also a Broadway star. Oh, that's nice. oh my God. It was, listen, if you struggle with empathy like she does, I think it even would have gotten you. 
I don't struggle with empathy. Okay. You choose not to do it. I have. I'm seeing a therapist though. <laughs> BetterHelp. Paul. I'll see if I can get a, we can get a sponsorship from BetterHelp. I would just love like a few more sessions for you. Oh, I'm, I'm, they took the money out, so I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get into couples counseling while we're on it. Okay. <laughs> we're doing good. No, we're doing great. We're doing good. Um, Lucy Duca, I believe you owe Lucy an apology. For what? For saying Lucy DeLuca. You did too. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Paula, roll the tape. LaDuca is my favorite shoe that I don't own, and I want one, so I know how to say it. But you didn't. Please take this time. And you also didn't correct me. I can't be there to sort of pick up. I can't. Don't you dare say that you have to pick up pieces after me. <laughs> That is my entire life. We are picking up your pieces. We are gonna get into couples. Counsel. We have to. <laughs> 2023 goal for IMHO is couples counseling. We'll record it for Patreon. Okay, 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 okay. I'll start. Lucy, when Darby kept saying your name wrong, she didn't understand that that had the power to hurt you. Is she the one that's a construction worker? Is mm -hmm. that the one? She's a construction. Oh, you don't even remember her her job, but you're getting on me. That was I a test. And you passed. We want to apologize. And we want you to know the next time we walk by you and you do construction worker and say, Hey, what the fuck? Come take a seat over here. Uh, I got the perfect place for your pussy. Put your mouth in my mouth and lick, lick, lick. Yeah, that's how it, she hasn't touched a man in a long time. We will, Listen, Lucy, we'll say, we're sorry. Also, DeLuca's not a bad, remember that, remember Felicity? And she kept well, going to Dean and DeLuca? No, we watched, okay, this week we watched Spy, Bobby Cavallari. Bobby Cavallari. He played a character named DeLuca. DeLuca. And I think that's what was in my brain. Because Spy is always on my mind. Oh, this is a good drag king named Deenan. Like Keenan, Dean and DeLuca. I like that name, I like Deenan. that too. <gasps> oh! Jax, oh, I loved this. Jax was the, from Mortal Kombat, because Jax always had arms. You know, I loved Mortal Kombat when I was little. We all did. There was only three games when we were little. I liked the idea. I loved the arms. The actual metal pieces I thought were really cool. I love when people build things out of that cosplay foam or whatever. I thought that was really cool. The rest of the outfit kind of fell flat for me. As well, I said last week with Amethyst, I think with Jax, like, I think her age is showing in that. It's the details. The rest of it wasn't dragged up. It was like, I've got these arms. That's all I need. Well, in her defense, anytime you see camo, you're kind of like, where'd it go? You know what I mean? So she wasn't really actually, standing out. To be it fair, just looked you're like absolutely arms. right. So I understand. Yeah. Sorry, you're absolutely right. It was the camo. What is that? Rain. Bitch, it's raining. Oh my god. Or Curtis is peeing. I don't know. He's got a strong stream. Robin Fierce. Oh, I loved this. Oh, this was so good. She She is was a warrior with a perfection. spear. I'm, I'm in love with her. Robin Fierce, fan for life. Yeah. Mistress Isabel Brooks, chain, jing the game with this one. I, I loved, loved it. This. I love when she got down to the end of the runway and she had that giant chain. And she just kind of went, <laughs> there was no like reason it just she was just like and eh, this is here and she was making change i loved it i loved yeah, it she looks gorgeous beautiful. <laughs> i took a lot of pictures of the chains sugar she was pink she was xenon cute very cute their drag is yeah 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 so good malaysia baby doll baby doll baby, baby doll, doll fox now i liked this i liked the idea of it the issue i had with it sitting on my couch at you know, by myself, was the chains seemed to start from nowhere. They didn't come out of the dress. They didn't wrap around the dress. It was just like the start of a chain, the end of a chain. And there just wasn't a rhyme or reason to it. Mm -hmm. It looked like she just got a bunch of chains and pinned them to the dress. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong. I like that she was wearing a gown though. I think that's what I liked. Well, I mean, she's pageant. She's pageant girl. She's always gonna be gowning. What would... So she's like a sexy Bob Marley. Why? Maybe that's why. Because he had chains, didn't he? From Scrooge? From Scrooge? <laughs> <laughs> you meant the singer. Oh, wait. Is this, are they both Bob Marley? Wait, wait, wait. No, Marley's his last name. What's his first name? Wait. Jacob Marley. Oh, no! <laughs> 
was thinking of <laughs> Jacob Marley. <laughs> you so oh funny. no, was that that was really? I apologize. That was yeah, bad. You need to do some um, reflection on that. Uh, you still have more work to do. You still got more work to do. Well, luckily the runway's metallic. It's but very reflective. She. I <laughs> need to reflect on that. That made my top lip sweat. <laughs> Um, oh no! But of course she looks beautiful, and I loved the hair. I just the general idea was kind of lost to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would you have done? What would I have done for metal? Oh, well, my dad used to be a pilot, so maybe I would do an homage to him and like do a plane. I'd be one of the towers. I would want to do something Selena and Marsha adjacent. Like I would want to do something take different. the metal. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, oh. <laughs> Just fell off. I'm sorry. I see you get for joking about this. <laughs> First they fall, then I fall. Do you remember that challenge from season seven where they all had to decorate a can? Do you remember that runway challenge? And they had to walk the runway dressed as a can. In the can, yes. I would do that. Oh, a soup can. But I would just wear Trixie's can. Like I would wear one of the cans from the show. I wouldn't change anything. Mm. Just go on down there. Just to see what would happen. Yeah. I think that'd be really funny. Yeah. Uh, I would be a plane. Okay. Three videos. Oh, yeah. So all three alike. videos. All alike. Well, the, except the first one was good. Yeah, the first can one we, made me laugh. Can we? Same. Sasha. Sasha Colby's next snap. <laughs> for her transition. And she did it ten times. And it only got funnier. Can you please not talk about her transition like that? It's a very serious what? discussion. What do you mean? I'm just kidding. Ally. Selena was really fun. Their whole group was funny. I thought Selena was so funny. I mean, she's always funny. And I love that the, the gag of it all was at the end we find out They're that Palm heaven is just Palm Springs. Where drag queens don't have to do anything and they get tipped a lot. <laughs> I was like, We oh, should go there. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> They'd love us. Wait, I had one written down. Jacob Marley. That's gonna... That kills me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And and the other two groups were bad. Although Lucy Ledoux, Lucy did make me Dolly laugh. Parton, so good. I think that's where we're seeing, because she came in so confident, like she said. It did make me think. Are you using up one of your snatch game characters for well, this? Well, no, because the preview we get. No, I know snatch, she's Joan Rivers, and it looks funny. No, well, that's what I'm saying. Is is she that good at celebrity impersonations that she's like, yeah, I've got plenty. I'll do a Dolly for this because that's impressive. That's really Celebrity impressive. impersonations, not for me. I'm not good at them. I'm not good at them when someone says you have to be. <laughs> I'm only good at them when I'm alone and I'm there's no expectation. I'm only good at them when I'm alone. Like shower singing, like the lawnmower effect. I can't... Find the clip. I can find the clip. I can't get it to start. Mm. And then as soon as my dad Haven't comes we all been out, there, fellas? Haven't we, haven't we all been there, fellas? Hey, fellas. We find out that we have a winner, and it is no surprise that it is Miss Sasha Colby. Congratulations. And congratulations. I love her. I'm so proud of I her. I love her, and I especially love that she said, like, it is kind of a double-edged sword where people her know reputation. me already. And yeah. so I'm really glad she got this early win. Don't you think that, like, we've done a really good job of establishing our bar being set so low through this show so that if we were ever to get on, we wouldn't have the, that same pressure? They'd be like, oh my god, you can walk in heels. Like, it would save us for a few episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So then we have a bottom two. Unfortunately, that bottom two is, again, Amethyst and Princess Poppy. You know what? I think Princess Poppy's probably a verse. I don't think she's full bottom. That's not funny. Okay. We have a Diana Ross lip sync. And listen, Amethyst was dressed as Diana Ross. It was and so perfect she just had for to stay on look. stage and be Diana Ross. And Rue loves Diana. And oh, what I did you think about princesses? I had no idea what was going on. Could not understand. Going to the back and like. Well, I just, okay, everybody. that might have been weird, but I liked the other stuff. I thought the other stuff was funny. She had a few funny moments, yeah. Yeah, okay. But I think if I wanted, like, Diana Ross, I forget who said it, but someone said in a talking head, you're doing Diana Ross Amethyst. in front of RuPaul. Who loves Diana Ross. You just gotta do Diana Ross. Yeah, that was Amethyst. I mean, two white twinks doing Diana Ross, not the best situation, but if you are gonna do it, do it. Yeah. So Princess Poppy doing all the jokey stuff and then going to the back and pointing at people, it just seemed like a Hail Mary. I'm not Catholic. 
but mm. unfortunately, so unfortunately we do say bye to princess poppy which doesn't align with my fantasy amethyst's second save out of two lip syncs <laughs> there's been two lip syncs yeah and she has won them both and they yeah um, and gotten rid of two people that i honestly thought we'd be seeing more of yeah that doesn't make sense sense to me and I think that's why I'm starting to get into that ter gig. no oh. the territory of like why is she being saved so much now I'm just annoyed that she keeps getting saved which is not her fault at all I think there's a charm to Amethyst that connects with RuPaul I just do you know how sometimes Ru just really connects and because I feel it too like when I watch Amethyst mm -hmm. I think she has a lot of growing to do I do think she'll be gone soon but I don't know I, I find her very charming uh, look she's a good girl I like her I, I'm just not fully understanding it yet. But I think it's my own issues more than her. No, 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 not at all. I think it's clear, like, Amethyst, she needs more time to bake, okay? She needs yeah. more, what's another cooking analogy? She needs more salad, okay? She needs to salad, right? So she'll get there one day. I know she'll fully bloom. She's not done yet. Yeah. You yeah. ever take a cake out of the oven too quick? Oh, no, 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 I don't, I don't bake. Oh yeah, that's true. She I did burn down three think. houses. One of which she'd been to before. Okay, well, the end of yet another episode. Thank you so much for joining us. If you'd like to join us next week, we will be back. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and of course the notification bell. Yes, and if you'd like to see even more stuff, go to patreon.com slash IMHO the show. We're also both on Cameo. So if you want us to send a message to a loved one, <gasps> a hated one, yourself, if you hate yourself, uh, you can go to Came on, can't you find us there. Find us on Cameo. You could also get a Shamio, which is a personalized video message from both of us with the background. It's like your mm. own mini episode just for you. Go to imhotheshow.com to find that. Absolutely. And that's it. Thank you so much, everyone. We love you. Bye. Mm. Mm. I'm back on Wordle. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't the word today spire? Did you get it? I got it in four. Curtis got it in three. Yeah. It's better than you. Well, he did school more than me, right? He finished college, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I never cared. If I could go back in time, I would say don't. Don't college? No. I, <clears throat> I agree. Well, back in, okay. For back, me, for me. Not for days, everyone, but for me. In the me. olden days, we all had the same goal. of like we had to go to college, get a job, buy a house. Like that was all. That, that was a, a reality we were living in that wasn't actually available to us. And so I think now we're understanding that. I don't think college is necessarily the right choice for a lot of people. I don't think my life has been better served because I went to college. I mean, sure, I was a better teacher. But like, did I care about that well, at the end? Well, I guess I did. No, I it did help me a lot. And I get to look down on you because I finished and you didn't. So You're also taller than me, so that's college. another reason that you look down. I will say barely. How tall are you out of out of drag? Four two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, she didn't finish college, so to her, that's six foot. I will say, because I went to college and because I did, I spent all my time doing dance and theater singing classes, that was good for that experience. I would go back and say, like, get in dance classes, because I love dance. I loved dancing. You can still dance. Oh, I think we I should can't. take an Not old here. person. Let's take an old person's hip-hop dance class. You know, they do those at retirement homes. I bet we could pay to go, because we'll feel comfortable if we're around old people. But old people in LA is like Bob Fosse and Sh Shannon Doherty. Like, Isn't it's... Bob Fosse dead? Yeah, but he is still dancing and that's yeah. the point. That's the miracle. He died in Chicago. Bob Fosse? Didn't in he? the musical? Didn't he? No, no, no. You, they were in Chicago doing... Doing Chicago. Dream Girls. And it was like before the final... Before like the, the last Broadway preview. Run? No. Bob Fosse didn't do Dream Girls. Yeah, I don't know. Listen, I, life is so, life is so short. Okay, you have to dance while you can. I hope you dance. I hope you dance. Should I sing that at Fat Slut? It was really good. <laughs> it was really really good. I'm so excited about Chan coming back. I'm so excited to see we're gonna, Chan and Lou. We're gonna try to do something for IMHO Obvi because why not? So if you have an idea of something you'd like us to do with Chan, to film with Chan while she's here, let us know. It may not be in drag. I don't know how long she's in town. I feel like we just set the camera up and like be. Well, we set the camera up mm. and she and I will be, and then you will be over there. Or over I'll there. be in the over there, yeah. Over Back there. in my intern days. In my intern days. Oh, I have a question. So yeah. during one of the bad skits, when Sugar pretended that everyone was a different drag queen from Drag Race. She thought Jax was Shangela, and Shangela said, Shablam. I thought it was Hallelujah. 
Does she, is Shablam her catchphrase? Shablam. Well, because she does do a Shablam. She does do a Shablam, and that's why it's sometimes they call her Shablam Jala. Right? Am I making this up? I don't know. It's just they were going through, and they were all saying kind of their catchphrases, and they got to Shangela, and I was wait. I was expecting her to say Hallelujah, and said she was like Shablam. Can you just say like dance move? Okay, box step. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, she should say, I'm in a box again. <laughs> nah, Shangela's an icon. I don't know. I thought that was really weird that the, the direction they went. I understand. Okay, I will say, I think we owe them all just, I mean, we have to give them a little bit of grace because you get in the situation and it's not just you in a room with Michelle. There's camera a people, ton of people you have to in get that room. something in there yeah. yeah and so i'm sure if it starts to go off the rails at that point there's not a whole lot you can do do you think that phrase go off the rails is about trains yes cool <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that speaking of trains can i can i say this i heard on a podcast no such thing as a fish. No such thing as a I heard I said that, on a new podcast. You know that trope, that silent movie trope of the girl getting tied to the train track? Yes. That that wasn't actually in a silent movie. It didn't premiere, like it didn't, it wasn't featured in an, any sort of like silent movie until someone did a spoof of a silent movie. It was like a trope that didn't actually exist. Maybe because the first, wasn't the first... One of the first moving pictures was a train coming at the audience. Maybe. So maybe it's a play on that. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. So it became this trope that actually never Do you existed. think it, did, did you think it ever happened in real life? Getting tied? Yes. Constantly. Okay. Listen, that was how they handled it in the wild, wild west. If, if you're, listen, if your woman didn't, didn't make your, what do cowboys eat? Pie? She got track time. What? She got track time. <laughs> she got track time. No, um, I started this podcast. I, I was looking for like things to listen to and there's one podcast called Something Wasn't Right. Have you ever heard of this? Yes. You've listened to this? I've listened to it for a long time. Can I tell you why I don't I, like it? I accidentally, so it's about, it's, it's about people telling their own stories about their own crazy experiences. I've only listened it's, to one girl, but they'll do like six episodes on one person. So it got started because this girl, the host, like she had like a friend or something who had like a really fucked up boyfriend. A lot of the stories are like fucked up relationships. And so the whole first season was just her and her friend telling her friend's story. And she's not a podcaster. And this is my understanding. And so she wanted to continue the show. And so, yeah, sometimes it's one episode, sometimes it's three, but they basically just tell so fucked up stories. So I didn't know about this. Oh. And it's really just the, so I accidentally started in the middle of someone's story. Mm. So I think I skipped all the traumatic stuff and I just heard like the aftermath. Still interesting. It's I like interesting. when people tell their own stories. Yes, it's interesting because it really is just her asking people questions. And for the most part, it's just the person talking, which I really enjoy. However, the reason I don't like it, like some of the, sometimes I'll listen, I'll go, she's not a podcaster. She's not a reporter. So she's, she brings in the whole, like, I'm just friends with everybody kind of vibe, which I think works in some cases, but like, when they get to the big trauma stuff, you know, and, and this woman's describing this awful thing this monster of a man did to her and her family, the host will interrupt her to go, that's fucked up. Oh my God, fuck him. That's, that's not, you're not, that's not why you're there. You're like a chapter marker. Like, all I want you to do is start the next part of the story. Like, what, I don't need to hear you get upset. I don't know, I don't like that. Okay. Is that weird? Yeah, I haven't heard well, that yet. Well, because the other person, like, the, the person who is a victim, I obviously expect them to be upset. But then to have the host interrupt to go, that's so fucked up. Is it because the person like, got tied to a train track? It was track time. It was track time. It was track time. <laughs> okay, we gotta go. Goodbye. Mm. And have a good day. Okay, I have to turn this off.